Hello dear children. Today we are going to learn tenses and their usages with the help of examples and flow charts. Dear students, observe the examples written on the slide. First is Vipin walks in the morning every day. Second is Vipin walked in the morning yesterday. Third is, Vipin will walk in the morning tomorrow. Now students, in the first sentence, the verb walks refer to the action in the present time. In the second sentence, the verb walked refers to the action in the past time. And in the third sentence, the verb will walk refers to the action in the future time. Students, I think you have understood that the tense of a verb shows the time when an action takes place. There are three tenses, past tense, present tense and future tense. Now. Let's try to understand in other words. Tense refers time and tells us whether the process or action is taking place, has taken place or will be taking place. Towards the left, past tense is given. In the mid portion, present tense is given. The future tense is given towards the right side of the chart. In order to show, so students, in order to show at what stage an action is, each of the three tenses has been subdivided into four heads. These subdivisions are simple, progressive, perfect, and perfect continuous. In this way, the total number of tenses is 12. Simple present, simple past, simple future, present progressive, past progressive, future progressive, present perfect, past perfect, future perfect, present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous, and future perfect continuous. Thus, the tense of a verb does not show the time of an action or event alone. It shows the state of that action also. To understand the tense in an easy way, you have to understand the forms of the verbs. Let us understand with the help of the table chart given on the slide. Go is the first form of verb. Second, went, third, gone, fourth, going, and, and the fifth form is goes. Come is the first form. Second, came, third, come, fourth, coming, fifth, comes. Play is the first form of verb. Second, played, third, also played, fourth, Playing and the fifth place. Teach is the first form of the verb. Taught second, then again taught is third, fourth teaching, and fifth is teaches. So, students, in the same way, you have to learn all the forms of verbs for other words. Simple present tense is used to express habitual action and general truth as you are seeing in the example mohit goes for a walk daily dogs bark at stranger here the verb goes shows the habit of mohit students let's see the example of the verb bark students the second example of the verb bark shows the habit 
of the dog. Simple present tense is also used to express a general truth as you are seeing in the example third. The sun rises in the east. The moon reflects the light of the sun. So, these are general truth. Now we will know about the present continuous tense. Present continuous tense is used to describe an action in progress or the continuity of the action in present time. As in the example 1, the girls are singing a song. The action of singing is in progress at the time of speaking. Present continuous tense also describes an action in progress, but not necessarily at the time of speaking as you see in the first example. Student, you are seeing in the example second. What are you writing these days? In this example, at the time of speaking, the work of writing is not in progress. Now we will know about present perfect tense. Present perfect tense is used to express an action that has been recently completed. As you see, in the example first, the action of receiving letter has recently completed. Generally, yet, already, just, presently, etc. are used in this tense. It is also used to express an action that began in the past and still continues. For example, Rohan has worked in this school for five years. As you see, in this example, Rohan has completed five years of work in the school and he is still working. Now, we come to present perfect continuous tense. Present perfect continuous tense is used to describe an action that began in the past, is still continuing and may extend into the future as you see in the example number one. She has been waiting for you for three hours. Here the action of waiting began in the past and still continuing. Present perfect continuous tense is also used to express an action which began in the past and has been just completed. Students, go through the example second. Here you can see the action of washing the dishes has been just completed which began in the past. However, its result is visible in the present. Now students, let us see what we have learned from this content. So let's Try to identify the correct answer. A part is Sarita dash her book in the morning. Options are reads, have read, reading or none of the above. The correct option is reads. Next is Neetu dash to temple every morning. Options are go, went, goes or going. The correct option is Goes. Now C part is they are dash a song. Your options are sing, sings, singing or sang. The correct option is singing. Next is B part is she has dash in Delhi for 8 years. Options are live, live, lives or living. The correct option is lived. Students, now it's time to practice some questions given from the content. So, here we come to working for the questions on tenses. 
fill in the blanks in a suitable form of verb given in the brackets. So students, you have to complete these statements with the help of the words given in brackets. That's it for today kids. Till then, attempt the activity, keep learning, keep watching your English videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.